So this is the last day of Mysteries of the Sea Ocean Week. So we're going to be doing a silhouette of, um, so a silhouette picture. And I'm gonna explain what that means in a second. But it's gonna be an ocean scene. So you should already start thinking about what are some ocean creatures that you would like to add to your picture. And they don't have to be real. So you, I'm gonna show you how to draw in um, some real ocean animals using um, a silhouette, but you could, do, you could do made up ocean animals too. You could do mermaids or pirate, I mean, a pirate ship. You could do, not that that's made up, but you could do like a, a, a sea monster. You could do any, it doesn't have to be a real, a real care, a real creature. Okay, these are up to you. All right, so a few more people just joined in. Morning, everybody. Hi, Judy. Hi, Lily. Ooh, I like that view of the Victoria. Look at those pretty pictures. <laughs> You're holding. Wow, look at that cute little mouse. So cute. <laughs> I love it. Thanks for sharing, girls. Very nice. All right. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, just I said, I said this before, but just uh, one last time. You're going to need two different colors of paper. So, I have black as one of my colors because we're going to be doing silhouettes. And silhouettes are usually black, but you don't have, if you don't have black, you can use any two different colors of paper. Um, this one's going to be my background, and this is going to be the one that I cut. We also, I also have just a plain sheet of paper that's going to be a, it's just a scrap paper to practice drawing some silhouettes, and a pencil. Also, you're going to need scissors and glue. All right, let me switch cameras. So, Mysteries of the Sea. Okay, four Mysteries of the Sea. So, a silhouette, what a silhouette is, I'm going to show you some silhouettes I've drawn. A silhouette, all it is, it is the outline shape of something. So you can have a silhouette of a person, you could have a silhouette of an animal, you can have a silhouette of a tree or, or, or um, nature. You can have a silhouette pretty much of anything. And this line, the line that goes all the way around, has a name, it's called a contour line. And a contour line is a line that defines the outside of something. So if you notice, None of these creatures that I've drawn have any lines on the inside of them. I'm literally only practicing drawing the outside shape. So I'm practicing doing a, a contour line here. I think I did some other examples. Oh, I think it goes this way. So I had a stingray, kind of a shark, a, a whale, and a little fish. So, and like I said, it's, ocean, it's Mysteries of the Sea, so the picture I'm going to be doing is going to be ocean, an ocean scene. But you don't have to have an ocean scene if you don't want. If you want to do a silhouette of something else, these are, you're your own artist and you, these are up to you. I'm, going to, I'm just going to demonstrate how to do a contour line drawing. So when you're doing a contour line drawing, <laughs> I, I don't know if you took, I know Rihanna did a class on contour lines. Contour lines are kind of cool. So like I said before, it's all about the outside lines. So you're going to pick a an animal or a shape that you want to draw. So for instance, if I wanted to start with a dolphin, then um, it can help you sometimes, especially when you're doing a contour line, to uh, go to Google search and just look up a picture of that animal or that creature. That can really help you get a kind of a sense of the shape and it's, uh, it's a good idea just as, as you're drawing to look at inspiration images. So that can, if, you, if you need that, feel free to go ahead and do that. But the goal is to try to get a creature done just by drawing the outside lines. So for a dolphin, for like a bottlenose dolphin, I would start with, oops, flip it over so I can see the drawing I already did. I would start with a, like a little, little shape like this for the nose. And then dolphins' heads kind of come up. And I'm just going to draw it in lightly because even, even though I'm, um, I'm only going to do the outside line, I might have to erase a couple lines when I work, and that's okay. So I'm going to do a kind of a, because dolphins are always curving, really playful. So they're curving, and then their tails 
come out like this. And then there's the bottom part of the dolphin, curves down and then back up like this. And now I need to add in the fins. So there's one fin, a top little curved fin, and then the bottom curved fin. But I have an issue, and that's because some of these lines, I'm going to have to go back and erase. So I'm going to erase this one to get a true contour. I'm going to erase this one. Any of the lines that are on the inside of my shape to get a true contour. So I'm not adding in the eyes. I'm not adding in a mouth. I'm just doing the outside contour line. So you guys are welcome to try drawing in your shapes. And like I said, it can be any kinds of shapes. I'm just working on this white paper just as a practice. You might want to um, do a couple practice drawings before you start to work on your, your color paper. Okay. Hmm, if I want to do, let's see, if I wanted to do a stingray, maybe I would start with, oh, I like, I like starting with the bottom of the stingray. So I would do like a curved line down here. I'm actually just jumping, doing like a little, I do like a little hole right there because that's where I go back in and add in that stingray tail. It's curving around. And then stingrays. They kind of curve back up like this. And like I said, if you need to look at an inspiration picture of whatever animal or creature it is that you're drawing, do it by all means. And they have these like little like, I don't know if they're antenna or, or what they are called, but they have these little feelers at the top of them. So there's my, there's my contour line of my, of my stingray. <clears throat> Maybe I want to try something else. Let's see, what else could I do? I'm going to look at some inspiration. Oh, I know what I want to do. Maybe I want to do a turtle, like a sea turtle. So I've never done a sea turtle. So maybe I'm going to look at a picture of a sea turtle first. So, um, and I'm just drawing lightly in case I have to erase any of my outside lines or my, any of the lines that are on the inside. So I'm going to start with the head shape, the turtle, and then turtle, sea turtle have, sea turtles have like a kind of a flat, almost like a flatter shell. They're not as like, rounded as like a, a land turtle or a tortoise is. It kind of curves like this. And they have these big flippers, really big flippers. It's like one, because they're meant for swimming. They're, they're really good for swimming. And so already I'm gonna erase this line right here. There. And then there's like gonna be another flipper maybe back here. here let's see. Let's see, let's bring this one in a little bit more. And then the other flipper could kind of go like behind this one, like that. And then sea turtles do have, they do have little tail, little uh, back, back feet, like that. Maybe, maybe that's my sea turtle. I can go back and I can like clean up any lines, I can erase any lines that were in the inside, because remember, you're not going to see those. So when we draw these, what you're going to do is when you have a couple animals or shapes that you really like, then you're going to redraw them onto a black sheet of paper if you have it. So, and then the last step is going to be to cut them out. So, all right, so I have a couple animals here. Is anybody, I'm curious what you guys are, are attempting to draw. Anybody want to tell me what animals or sea creatures they're uh, they're doing a contour line of. You can write it in the chat if you want. Oh, Charlotte, I see you have your hand up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to draw a dolphin. A dolphin. Awesome. Cool. Anybody else? A seahorse. Ooh, Desmond Mac. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Beatrice, which one are you doing? I'm doing a jellyfish. Jellyfish. Ooh, one thing I wanted to say about jellyfish, and this is true of any creature that has a lot of little tentacles and a lot of things that are coming off. So like my um, octopus or this squid is that they're, they're a little tricky to cut out. So just so you know that. So, cause, cause an, uh, a, a jellyfish will have lots of little tentacles coming down. So it'll be a little tricky to cut out all the, all the little tentacles, but just try your best. Anybody else want to? Share what, what animals or, or creatures they're, they're doing. Nope. 
Are all good? Okay. So once I feel like I have a couple of animals or creatures, I'm going to get my black sheet and I'm going to start re-sketching them on the black sheet of paper. So I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. I'll try my best. So I don't know. Scott, you'll have to tell me if you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't see anything yet. Cannot? Okay, hold on. Let me... Oh, maybe, yeah, there it is. Maybe if I zoom in. That helps. Yeah, I'll zoom in and see. <laughs> Because you know it's really tricky to see shapes when you're um, working on black paper. I guess I could use a white pencil, but that's why we sketch them out first. So I'm doing a curve. Ooh, this one almost went off the it's, page. It's off the screen just a little. Oh, oh, thanks. There we go. There you go. All right, it's harder when I have less uh, less space to work with. <laughs> All right, so there we go. You're racing and back in, adding these fins. So there's one fin, the other fin. You erase those lines on the inside. So contour lines are, are just good practice. It's good practice. And when you get really good at contour lines, it's really fun to try doing them without lifting your pencil off your paper at all. It's super fun. So so you have to try, like, it's like a challenge. Can I, can I draw this all with one continuous line? Can be tricky. So in art, there, there are something called the elements of art. So there's, I think, seven elements of art. And usually we use all of them when we're, when we're, when we're creating pictures. So color, shape, line, texture space, uh, I'm forgetting a couple, but there's, a, there's seven of them. And I, the one that we're looking at today, when you do a silhouette, is space, because the black shape is actually going to be like the shadow or like the negative space of the, of the animal. So we're making a negative of, of, our, of our animal as opposed to a positive drawing. Positive drawing would be just like if you're going to draw it regularly, but because we're only drawing the the like the shadow of it, the contour lines of it, it's going to be a negative shape. So Could you zoom out. back out again? Yeah, absolutely. Right. So I'm just cutting out my dolphin. There we go. So I cut him out, and here's my other paper. I can figure out where I want to put him. Maybe like here, and I think I definitely want to add more to this this picture and fill it up, fill up my uh, fill up my silhouette. So I'm gonna have a, a it's gonna be full of creatures, I think. So I have one dolphin. I can also add, and this is kind of like a nice trick if you want to add in some coral or seaweed or anything on the bottom or the to make it really look like it's like a like a. Um, like a whole scene, you can do that. So I'm just actually gonna cut out, just taking my scissors, I'm not even drawing this in, I'm just literally cutting out some seaweed shapes by like, just making a collage here. I might need more than one piece of black paper. I'm not sure. It depends on how much I how much I cut away. So this is what I did. I literally just cut out some pieces that look like this that I might glue down to the bottom here. There'll be some seaweed in my picture. Maybe I want to add some coral in there. Let's see. Like I said, sometimes it's nice to look at inspiration images. It's also nice to have like different sizes of things. So like if I have this piece of coral on one side, maybe on the other side I have some big pieces of coral. Go almost all the way to the top of the page. I'm just I'm just freehand cutting right now. I'm not drawing. I will draw the animals in, but um, for the seaweed I feel I feel pretty confident that I can just cut it out by hand without drawing because they're Seaweed's kind of fun because it's all just kind of organic shapes. Uh, 
grab some big pieces of seaweed. We're gonna go over here. Look, the dolphin's like swimming past it. There we go. And maybe I want, I can add some coral in the bottom. Maybe here, actually, maybe I'll switch these two. Put the small one here and the big one over here. The dolphin, and the dolphin swimming down like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So that's why I don't I don't like gluing anything down until I've until I have everything cut out because that way I can kind of like move all my things to make sure I like the, the placement of them. And I've always liked collage. I think that it's just kind of a fun. It's a it's a very forgiving type of art because if you don't like something, you just throw it away. You're like and try it again. You don't have to erase anything. So, all right, so maybe I'll try, I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. Maybe I'll try on my black paper to draw a different creature. So I have one dolphin, what else do I need in here? Let's see, maybe I will do, hmm, I st still really like that stingray. I'll do another stingray. So I can try to zoom in a little bit again so you can see my drawing. So for a stingray again, it's just like a curved line on the bottom, a curved line down here. Can you see this, Scott, kind of? It's, it's hard to see. It's a little hard to see. Oh, if I turn the light on. I don't know if that helps. It made light's it a little not, better. Light's not that, oh, if I hold oh, up. Yeah, at the I angle, you can see the light, it. you can really see it. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it shining in the light, but I just can't work. I can't work like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, do, I'll draw it in, then I'll hold it up. Okay. So like, there's the tail. And I'm coming in like this. Like that and that. I'm gonna give it like a little, little, little feelers. Little feelers. So that's kind of what he ended up looking like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut him out. My scissors. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, if you want to do a picture that is um, like fantasy creatures, you could do like a whole. You could do. You could do like. I don't know. You. Your, these pictures can be anything you want. If you wanted to do the Lost City of Atlantis down under the ocean, you could do that. If you wanted to do like like our like we did on um on Tuesday with like the the. The sunken treasure you could definitely draw in a treasure chest and see how how would you do a a silhouette of a treasure chest underneath underneath the ocean you could do a sunken a sunken ship you could do um mer like a mermaid uh city you could just do the loch ness monster <laughs> or or like maybe there's some like deep sea uh ocean animal that nobody has discovered yet that you have created these are totally up to you so here's my stingray so i had him there maybe the stingrays going this way like that Mm hmm. I'm starting, starting to like this. Let's see. What else can I add? So I also, when I'm when I'm working with collage, I like to vary the sizes of things that I do. So I added in. That's why I did one big seaweed and one little seaweed. Right now, I have two animals that are kind of the same size. So maybe I want to work and add some really small little fish. Maybe there's a whole school of little fish down here. So maybe I can get my paper, my regular sc scratch paper and practice drawing in some little fish first. So let me find some pictures of some little fish that I like. So I, like I said, I like, to look at, I like to look at actual animals when I'm drawing silhouettes. Cause it can help, it can help my shape, can me get the shape quite uh, perfect. It can help me get it a little, um, so it looks a little more real. So, hmm, maybe I'll just do, I'll just do some simple fish cause I think I want to do a bunch of them. Trying to find a fish I like. 
Oh, I can't wait to see this. The seahorses look really neat in silhouette because they have such a striking um, shape to them with their like protruding little bellies and their like spiky backs. A lobster has a striking shape too. Oh my gosh, if you do a lobster. Let's see. Finding some fish. What fish shape do I like? Well, this is kind of an easy fish shape. So it's got kind of like, a, I guess it's like an angelfish. It's got kind of like a bottle nose and then it curves up. Down and then he's got like a fan on the tail and it kind of curves around like that. And then he's got like a tiny little, tiny little fin like that. Oh, I don't actually, I don't like that one. Let's, let's keep going. Let me find a different fish. I'm curious to see what you guys have done. So if anybody wants to share any of their work so far, just let me know. Do a sharper little fish. Fish like this. Like a little bit like that. And like that. Hmm. Maybe. Like I said, I think simpler is better. Simpler is better when you're working like this. So I'll do just a super simple fish. But I think that is a little little guy like this. Yeah, I'll do I'll do that that kind of shape. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try drawing it out on my black paper. I'm gonna draw a couple little fish in because it's gonna be a little school. It's a good thing there's no shark nearby. Maybe they're being chased by a shark, I don't know. Or some other, some other form of predator. Contour lines are really fun when you, especially when you try to do them, um, especially when you try to do them uh, of people. So I don't know if you can see, I drew in three little fish here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out these three fish. Sometimes when I'm cutting, I like to make the piece that I'm working with smaller. So I don't, I don't, I don't cut them out in one piece the way I tried to, tried to draw them in one piece. Sometimes it's easier to cut away little bits at a time than it is to try to cut something in one whole line. So in fact, I'm just gonna cut that piece off work like this but like I said before anything that have tentacles or lots of little pieces coming out can be really tricky to cut so keep that in mind like a little fish swimming cut out the other two maybe the little fish are down here there Ooh, you know what I think I might add some coral down here and maybe they're like they're um they're like hiding amongst the coral, these little fish, because they the coral protects them from predators. It's like their home. They probably find they can find food and krill and uh, things to eat down amongst the coral. There we go. Another little fishy. Yeah, see if you can vary the sizes so that you have some big things in your picture, some smaller things in your picture. It's nice to have variety. I also think it's nice to have, I, a lot of times there's something called the rule of threes which is um, sometimes, sometimes people use the rule of threes when they're making their art. And it's just kind of like a nice number of things to include. <coughs> Excuse me, I sneezed. Um, so for instance, like I have, 
well, not necessarily, I don't just have three things, but I do have three different types of creatures. So one, two, and then three. And right now I have two forms of, um, of ocean, uh, sea, like a uh, vegetation. So I have one, two, and maybe I do a third piece of coral here. So I, the rule of three, three is just kind of like a naturally nice number to work with. And sometimes artists will use the rule of threes when they are making their pictures. So, all right, I'm gonna find some pictures of coral to look at, see if I can do a silhouette of what some coral might be. Ooh, I like that. And there's lots of interesting coral shapes. Ooh, and this one. This one might be hard to cut out. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's almost like a tree branch. Yeah, does anybody want to share what they've got so far? Here's Lily. Lily, hi Lily. Let's see what you're working on. Whoa, oh that, oh my gosh, that mermaid is sitting on that rock. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love it. I love the little mermaid. Right here and some seaweed down here with a few other animals. That's awesome. Very good. And a really cool start there. I love it. I love the I love the rock that you've added in. It's very uh, very realistic. So I'm just like I said before for the for, for vegetation. I just am cutting things out freehand. But if you feel more comfortable drawing things in, then by all means do what do what works for you. So I'm adding in some more coral, or I'm trying to do some coral. And to me, coral has like all these little pieces that are coming out. Yeah, does anybody else want to share their works in progress? Here's Caden and friends. Caden, let's see what you guys working on. Wait, what's your friend's name? John. John? Yeah. Hi, John. Nice to meet you. Glad you came to join us today. So basically, I'm getting actually a little bit creative. So like, what I'm doing is I drew already a mermaid down here. Ooh. From a and I'm gonna have different different parts. So I have different colored sheets of paper and I already have mm -hmm. background. So I'm gonna put this like part by part on the background, but like by connecting it. So it oh. me, but it has different colors. Oh, very cool. Very cool. All right. I like that. I like that idea. Like I said before, these are your pictures and you guys can do whatever uh, you would like. These are these are up to you. You are the artist here. So now I'm just kind of like, now that I have my coral cut out, I'm just kind of like moving things around. Sometimes I like flipping, flipping things over to see if I like, like maybe this one should go this way. I don't know. Maybe this should go down here. No, I like actually, I like it going this direction because these things are going in this direction. So now I'm just kind of playing with the composition. So I'm moving things around till I like I like how they're placed. I kind of like, kind of like that. Kind of like that, all right. And when I think I'm ready, I can start to glue things down. Hmm, maybe I like this better. I liked it better when it was going this way, I think. Yeah. I think it might be missing something small. Maybe, maybe I have a fourth little fish up here. I think I need another fourth little fish. I'm gonna cut one more out. I'm 
I'm drawing in, I don't know if you guys can see, here, I'll put it up here. Just drawing in one more little fish. Maybe I'll draw two more little fish in, I don't know. Let's see, if I don't like it, I don't have to use it, right? So I'm just doing another little fishy here. And I'll do one more. So it's like a whole little school of fish. Okay, now that I've kind of, I don't know if you can see, now I've drawn those two in, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out. Ooh, if I really want to fill up the page, maybe I add like, could add something down here. I could add like a lobster or something or a, a starfish or something that lives on the bottom of the ocean floor. What else lives on the bottom of the ocean floor? If anybody has any ideas for me, let me know. Oh, thanks, Judy. Oh, Scott, putterfish. I have to look up what a putterfish looks like. I'm not sure what a putterfish looks like. Puffer fish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's misread. okay. I misread it. <laughs> that makes way more sense. I do know what a puffer fish looks like. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, have to, I'll look one up. That's a good suggestion. All right. A little fish up there. And over here. Yeah, does anybody else want to share their works in progress? Or is everybody still like, I feel like we have some really like, we're all really, everybody's very much into it right now. <laughs> like, like everybody's too hard to work, or they're working too hard to share. All right, here's one more fish. Maybe these two are coming to join their friends. These two little guys are, oh, you know what? Maybe they're like hiding amongst the, so you can do, you can layer things too. So like maybe there's like a fish that like you only partially see. He's like coming out from behind the seaweed. Oh, I apologize for the noise today. There's a gardener right outside my window. He's got a leaf blower. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, if you can hear that. Is the sound okay, Scott? It's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, there's, it's got a, he's got a leaf blower going on right next to me. <laughs> All right. We can still hear you. Okay, cool. All right. So, okay. Puffer fish. Well, I'm going to look at a picture. I, so, like I said, I, have, I, I think it, it's helpful for me to sometimes look at inspiration images. So, I'm going to look at a puffer fish image. Whoa. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize quite how big possum puffer fish can get. Like some of them are really large. I wasn't sure how that would work for the silhouette, but I just thought they were cute. They are cute. They're definitely cute. So here, I'll try to draw one on here first. So there, it's interesting. Some of them, are, like I guess there's different breeds of puffer fish. I guess there's, it's, it's, I never realized that there's two. It's a, there's a puffer fish and a blowfish. I don't know what the difference is between the two. I'd have to do some research, but they're, they're super cute. It looks like some of them are like spiky and some of them are, um, are like, don't have spikes. <laughs> so I'm looking at some pictures right now. So there's like this little guy who has some spikes. So here's his like little mouth. He's kind of got like, he's got almost like an eyebrow thing going on. And he's got like, I'm going to draw the shape in first. So the shape is kind of like this. Got a big round belly when he's all blown up. And then he's got these two little tiny little, I don't know if you can see that. He's got these two little kind of tiny little things, like uh, little fins that come like that. And then his tail, oh, I'm running into my other fish. His tail kind of, it's a little smaller. It kind of goes like this. Can we maybe add watercolor in the background, but we oh. have the black uh, paint? Totally, totally. Great idea. Great idea. You totally can. Awesome idea. Like anything you want to add, these are your pictures. So, and then if I was going to make it the spiky guy, so he has these little spikes that kind of go like this. And then down here, there's like, 
gets all like so it kind of looks like kind of looks like that and if if I were to draw the eye in Scott the eye would go in here <laughs> The, yeah, there's the puffer fish are really kind of cute. And then there's the other kind of puffer fish that they're like smoother, but they definitely have like these really distinguished bellies when they're blown up. They like really have like a little serious dip for a belly. This one, there's this little nose. There's his back. And there's this little other little tail. This is a different breed of breed of puffer or blowfish. And they've got yeah, all, they all have the same like little fin structure where there's like oh, I don't like that. Where there's like they have like three little appendages. There's like this little guy. And there's like a little one that comes out here. Kind of like that. There's another little puffer fish, spiky one and a non-spiky one. Kind of like the spiky one. Let's see. <laughs> puffer fish are really cute. I like the idea of a spiky, a spiky little fish. So I'm gonna do like a hybrid. I'm gonna do like a hybrid fish. So maybe he's gonna go like this. He's gonna go this way. So he's gonna be like, there's his little fishy lips. I'm gonna draw him in first. This guy will have like a little fin coming up like this. And he's gonna be really round, really round fish, almost like a ball. Maybe I should just start with a ball. And then here, I'm gonna have like, <coughs> excuse me, there, that leaf blower guy. <laughs> Blowing all the stuff up in the air. All right, um, here we go. This, that. And then I'll give him some spikes. It's yeah. blowing off the screen just a little bit. Oh, sorry, thank you. That's okay. Here, I can uh, zoom in back out there. How's that? Sorry, I, I was looking at the picture, not at my drawing. There we go. There we go. Okay, so he's like, kind of like this. some like little spikes here go back erase this line give him some little spikes here and down here give his belly some spikes yeah i think i'll do this one i like this shape i think it'll be a nice addition I'm gonna do them smaller though. I'm gonna do them smaller on the black. So that I can see if I'm on the page or not. If I have I have about that much space to work with, so let me move let me move this guy off the off the page. Now I'll start with my little puffer, my little hybrid puffer. <laughs> so I started with a ball. I'm just sketching in a ball again. And I'll hold it up so you can see it in a second. And then erase, I'll add in the lips. Little puffer fish, puffer fish lips. So it kind of started like that. Oh yeah, we can see that. Yeah, you can see it when I hold it up to the, to the light. <laughs> I just don't know how to keep it, keep it there while I'm sketching. And then I'll add in the, like, the little fin on the top. And then I'm gonna go add in the fin on the back. It's kind of got like a, almost like a, a whale fin. Erase the, all the lines. Then I'm gonna give them some spikes. So that's that's him so far. And I'm gonna erase some of these lines. I'm gonna give him all these little spiky spikes. Might be fun to cut out. So there's some of the spiky spikes. 
puffer fish that you do, you do not want to tangle with him or her. There's some more. Maybe some on the bottom. All right, so there is my little puffer fish. I'm gonna go ahead and cut him out. I'm curious what everybody else is doing. Like what other shapes or what other creatures? Did anybody else choose to do a, a seahorse? Or a puffer fish? <laughs> Megan's making a dolphin right now. Ooh, dolphins. Nice. Very graceful. And let's see. Charlotte has her hand up. Charlotte, how are you? Um, I am making a little seahorse holding on to Ooh, a piece of um, a coral, and then another one. Oh, I love it. What a great, those are great little seahorse. You really nailed the, the silhouette shape. Very nice. Thank you. Very cool. Oh. Thanks. Does anybody else want to share? Here's Beatrice. Beatrice, let's see. <gasps> Whoa. Tell me, I see a turtle. What else? Tell me, tell me what else I'm looking at. I see a fish. I see a rock. What else do you have in there? She needs to unmute herself. <laughs> oh, you got it? Oh, hey, we can't hear you, Beatrice. Oh, no. Oh, I can hear you now. So go ahead. Tell, tell us about your picture. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I forgot what these are. <laughs> oh, that's okay. So, I'm it's like it stings you. I think something that stings you. A stingray? Um, an eel. A what? Jellyfish. A jellyfish. Oh, a jellyfish. Cool. And a little house. And this oh. is the sea. And this is the waves. Nice. Oh, the waves coming up. Cool. Very cool. And then something's hidden behind the sea. Oh, what? What is it? What's hiding back there? Sonic, those emeralds. <laughs> oh, cool. And this is a duck. Right here. Duck. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Wait, did I hear you say that there's a, uh, was there a surfer? Okay. Oh, I like the duck. He's cute. He's super cute. That's how I got an idea. Oh, nice. Very cool. You could do a little surf. You could do a little surf per, uh, surfer on top of your waves, if you wanted. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Here's Emily and Sophia. Let's see Emily. Let's see Sophia. So I made a turtle. Oh, nice. In my paper. Oh, oh, ah, everything's falling off. <laughs> it's okay, girls. Why don't you glue it down? So actually, this is this is a great time because we only have about 10 minutes left. So if you if you are ready, you can start gluing stuff down. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you have to move the camera down. Oh, what a great dolphin and seaweed. Oh, nice. That looks great. A little fishy. Yeah, I see a little two little fish. They're super cute. Super cute little fish. All right. Well, at this point, I'm just getting out my glue and I'm gonna start adding some glue. Now, the trick with glue 
is you don't want to add too much. You want to be sparing. So I tend to try to add just small dots because I know that this glue, if you add too much, it'll one, it'll seep out, and two, it will um, it'll make the page look bumpy. So I'm just gonna glue it down. And if it look, it's going off the page, but that's okay. I can uh, I can cut off that little tip when I'm done. I'm gonna wipe off any excess that does seep out. I'm gonna take a little bit I have on my finger, maybe add a little bit more. Just start gluing things down once you've figured out the composition that you like. So like that means where where everything is placed such that you you like it. Thanks for Scott for the pufferfish uh, suggestion. I really like this little spiky guy. I'm gonna add him up here. You're welcome. It's very cute. Add him right up here. It was a good suggestion. Oop. There we go. Glue down. Yeah, oh, it's kind of got to be careful. So I'm noticing that when I'm doing this, the tails, so parts of it are curling up. So I really got to get when I do the rest of these fish. I really got to get some glue on the on their tiny tails. Sometimes what I do, and this is a little a little strange, but I'll put a little bit on my finger because sometimes it's easier to just smear a little bit onto your tail rather than doing a whole big dot. So just using my fingers to like sm spread the glue around a little bit so that it's getting to all the different parts. There we go. A glue stick would probably work better for this than uh, the bottle that I'm using. But I didn't have one, so we have to make do. There we go. So let's try this one again. Add, I'm gonna do the, do the glue on my finger trick. And I'll spread it around. Does anybody else want to share what they're working on, or is everybody gluing down right now? Like myself. Here's Lily. Lily. Let's see. Hi guys. Hi. I did, I did a few other things so okay. that it would look okay. nice. I added a, uh -huh. a seahorse, um, like some spiky, um, what was it? I don't remember its name. Um, I did a stingray. I did a moon, so it's nighttime. I did a <laughs> coral. A I did coral. A few nice. That looks great. That looks so good. I love that the that she's that she's sitting on the rock like on top of the ocean. Like you can that you did the wave like the ocean waves next to her. Very uh, cool. Her in the wind. That looks awesome. Very nice. Okay. And oh, you, even the little tiny little seahorse. You had a little baby seahorse. I like that you had you have definitely have variety in there of like sizes and shapes. Very cool. All right. Does anybody else want to share theirs so far? Oh, Megan, your dolphin doesn't look like a dolphin. That's okay. <laughs> it's all just uh, practice. Maybe it's a maybe it's a, a a shark in disguise or some other creature. I don't know. And we only have about um, seven minutes left. So if you're not gluing yet. You could start gluing, or, and it's okay if you don't finish. If you don't finish, you can work on it whenever. But, all right, ooh, this is gonna be tricky to glue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on my finger again, that way. And just spread it around. I have some on my finger. I'm trying to get some glue up on all the little bits of this. So it'll lay flat. The other trick that I haven't been doing when I'm gluing is once you get glue on all the bits to like really get it to stick is to like press it flat and really hold it there, hold it down for like, you know, count to 10 or something. That'll help everything really stay flat. Here's 
Here's Beatrice. Yeah, let's see Beatrice. How's yours going? <laughs> you added. Nice. The surfers. Oh, we can't hear you. We can't hear you, Beatrice. I played a little surfboard and plastic right down here. Oh, wow. That's uh, kind of depressing, but very true to form. It's like a plastic bottle. Because mm -hmm, lots of plastic is in the ocean. That, you know, if you were going realistic, that is pretty accurate. It's true. There are, there are islands of plastic waste in the, in the ocean that are the size of Texas, yeah. which is crazy. And sometimes in sand, even at lots of Earth's. Yeah, that's that's why we have to be careful where we, um, how much how much plastic we're using and that we're recycling it. Always use like whenever you're getting like whenever I'm getting a smoothie, like get your own cup so we won't have to waste any plastic. It's true. That's so true. That's a very smart thing. Very smart. That's a great suggestion. All right. Okay. Hi boys, you want to share what you're doing, Soren, John? I mean, not sorry, not sorry, John. Uh, Kaden and John. Whoa, that mermaid came out awesome. Or mer person, that mer person came out awesome. Wait, Kaden, you got to hold yours over a little so we can see it. Hold it up a little higher. There we go. Wow. Oh, wow. That whale is great. He's a really good shape. Like, he, like you nailed the silhouette of him or her, it. <laughs> That's awesome. I also like that you boys used um, the watercolor paper. We can't, we can't hear you, Caden. You're, you're muted, but we see, we see what you've done. Well, the watercolor, it's, it, looked, it worked really well. Like, it honestly, because of the way that you did the watercolor, um, the darker area of gray of the whale looks like the, I don't know, if the baleen. It looks like the, the, on a blue whale, you know, they have those lines that come down. That's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, well, it, it, it actually totally works. I love the watercolor. I think it adds and adds a, like a very real element to your picture. Very cool. Thanks for sharing. All right, anybody else who would like to share? Yeah, hi girls. Hi Liliana, hi Heather Rose, let's see. Uh, mine is a whole bunch of fiction animals. So. Oh, let's see. Oh, whoa. Okay, so I see some really scary looking animals that I would not want to encounter in real life. <laughs> Um, what is that one that's like for the second from the bottom that's got the like, or sorry, the second from the top that's got the big mouth? That one. Yeah, that one. What is that one? That's a shark and the seahorse. Oh, and what about the one on the top? Uh, that's like a little, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us about the other animals. What are your other creatures? Well, uh, this was me trying to make coral and failing, so I made it a monster, a little sea creature instead. <laughs> it looks like a pretty, it looks like a, it has a beak like a bird and wings. It's like an underwater bird. <laughs> it's a manta ray. Nice. Definitely looks like a manta ray. What's that? A squid octopus thing. Yes. <laughs> an octa squid. <laughs> Is that an eel that I spy? This is a eel fish. An eel fish, all right. I messed up on making the fish part. That's okay. Uh, this is just a random creature thing. This is okay. A ball, and this is seaweed. Very nice. I love it. I love. I especially love all like the the made up creatures. That looks awesome. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Mine. Whoa. Okay. So tell. I see some real. I see some real creatures. Whoa. Is that like a a an eel that's hiding behind the seaweed? Yes. That totally looks like one of the eels from um, like the Little Mermaid. <laughs> They're really creepy ones. 
I think it's the same kind of eel as the eels in Little Mermaid. Yeah, they're, they're, they always creep me out. Nice, really nice. Oh, I love the little, your little fish is such a good shape. Oh, he's yeah. so um, cute. This is a whale. Uh-huh, nice. This is a sunfish. Oh, very nice. Uh, this is a, I think it's moray eel. I think you're right, it is a moray eel. Um, I don't know what this is, it's a fish. <laughs> it's just a little fish, a little fish. Uh, this is some, you know, just some... Just some ground. Yeah, ground. Rock, a rocky, rocky uh, outcrop. This is a fish that I saw at um, an aquarium. I'm not sure what kind of fish it is. That's okay. It had a little horn on its head and its fins were very sharp and pointy. So. Oh, very cool. That's really cool. I love this. You did an awesome job. You nailed the shapes. Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Oh, bye, Lily. Um, yeah, is there anybody else who wants to share? This is, uh, it's 11, so. Here's Vienna and Victoria. Yeah, hi, girls. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that jellyfish that you cut out. Jellyfish are hard, too. And the seaweed and the starfish and the seahorse and the turtle and the dolphin. You cut out, like, every animal. <laughs> Very nice. And I like, I like that you used all the different colors for the seaweed. Very pretty. What a, what a nice composition. I feel the background's a little pink. Wow, girls, look at that. I, I see angels. Oh, they do a little puffer fish too. <laughs> look at that mermaid, wow. And I also, I like the variety of, of um, vegetation, all the different types of seaweed that you did on the bottom. That looks great. Really, really nice variety. Nice job. Really nice job, girls. Still working on it. You're still working on it? Yeah, totally. Keep work, keep it up. <laughs> cool. Here's Hi, Megan. Megan. Oh. Ooh, I see a manta ray. I see a sea turtle. Tell me. And that totally looks like a dolphin to me. <laughs> Not really. So my mom <laughs> helped me with this. Cool. It's just like the background seems a bit out of color. Oh wait, hold on, Megan. Sorry, hold on. Uh, Scott, did you do you know who that? Is? Yeah, I muted. Okay, thanks. All right, go ahead, Megan. Messed up, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> that looks awesome. I think that's a, that's so smart with like the with the 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 wiggle on the um so the the seaweed really looks like it's moving. <laughs> And I disagree. I think your dolphin looks like a dolphin. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, who else would like to share? Hi. Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Let's see. What's up, Charlotte? Um, this is my favorite thing. Ooh, tell me. Wow, look at that dolphin and that seahorse. I see a manta ray. Uh, yeah, manta rays. What else? What else? What's up at the top there? Um, up at the top here? Yeah. Um, it's a seahorse hanging on to seaweed. That's what I thought. He's like hiding. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, he's like upside down. Oh, I love him. Yeah, because um, when seahorses hang on to pieces of seaweed, they like to go upside down. Oh, that's so smart. That's so, what a clever, what a clever picture. I totally see it. That's what I thought. I thought it was a seahorse, but yeah, they, that makes sense that they hang on because they have those curly tails. Yeah, yes. because um, because when they why they hold on to sea, um, why they hold on to coral is mm -hmm. to keep them in one place. Yeah. So all that has to be moving. Is the tail so they kind of like their body dressed around where the tail hangs out. On. That's so smart. Cool. Um, I thank love it. You. Yeah, thank you. Nice job. Huh? All right, last call for Nissy. Shared. Hi, Nissy. How are you? So I did the sunset. Ooh, whoa. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Did you watercolor that paper first? Um, no, I did not watercolor it. I How just did you? Regular craft smart paint. Oh wow, those are beautiful. Those color the way you got those colors to blend. 
that looks really beautiful. And they're jumping. So the dolphins are jumping out of the ocean yeah. with the moon. That's so pretty. Really pretty silhouette. Really, stun really stunning. Oh, Desmond Max, yeah, if you don't want to share, you can definitely go. But Nissi, awesome job. Really nice job. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, hey, guys, did you want to share? Yeah. Let's see. So I have mine here. Whoa, nice. That looks awesome. Really nice. I, I, that, you nailed the, uh, the manta ray shape for sure. Like you, it's like, I actually, I think that you did a different, it was a different form of um, stingray. Because he his like his wings are going out like that. Very cool. Nice. And, uh, this one's mine. Ooh, I like the negative. It's negative. That one's really creepy. Oh, yeah. yours. It's Concern. totally. It, it's um like deep sea. You did deep sea creatures. Yeah. That's why the background is the black. Yeah. That's so smart. That's so so smart. Thank you. Oh, that's really creepy. <laughs> I love it though. I also like that you added in, so you, you did have some details inside of them. You added in like little holes for the eyes, which yeah. actually adds, did you, so did you cut those out or did you add them on top? I was going to cut out little eyes, but it was really hard. Um, it's really hard, so yeah. Just getting like a marker and just dab, dab, dab. Yeah, yeah, so, no, it adds, it, to it totally adds something because it makes, it makes them really look like they're looking at you. They're so yeah. creepy. <laughs> I like it. I love it. You did it. What a, what a clever uh, idea for a deep sea. Thanks for sharing. All right. Um, yeah, Soren, let's see. So I, so I drew this for my dad. And cool. Kind of, it's a Bugatti. So have you heard about a Bugatti? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were telling me about Bugatti yesterday. Yeah. So Bugatti, this is, a, have you heard of of the Bugatti Chiron 300 Super Sport 300 Plus, it broke a world record of 304 miles last <laughs> year. That's very crazy. It's super fast. I know. <laughs> so I and like. It. What else did you do? And then here's my sea. Ooh, is your ocean? And you see that pinkish thing down here? It's a ghost. Oh, is under an undersea ghost? Like, is it a ghost? What's it a ghost of? It's just a ghost of the sea. And then you see this ghost guy that has feet up here. This is a deadly box jellyfish, jellyfish <laughs> special edition. Oh, that's so when awesome! It you, you die, and then it eats you. <laughs> and it can disguise itself like this ghost that nobody would suspect is a deadly box jellyfish special edition. I like the, I like the idea of, of the, the ocean haunted. It's a diamond stinger, but it doesn't sting humans. Okay. But it does sting things that try to hurt humans. <laughs> and then up here is the Asian fish, which looks pretty crazy. It's kind of cool up there. And then there's this mystery creature. <laughs> I like it. I like it, Soren. Thank you for sharing. I love I love that your your ocean is haunted. All right, last call for anybody who has not had the chance to go because we are over time. Anybody else would like to share? No, nope. I think that was everybody. I think that was, I think that was everybody. All right, guys, really awesome job. I hope you enjoyed making your silhouette today. Um, uh, and we'll be back next week with some new classes. All right, bye. Bye, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Welcome. Bye. 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 Bye.